Hi. <laughs> um, my name is Sab Lucetin. I am 23 years old. I am. Uh, I guess I'm here studying how to do art. <laughs> <laughs> I've been painting ever since I was young. Um, it's been a hobby of mine uh, since I was since I could hold a brush, maybe. And I've been, I've been doing it ever since. Um, I've had a few. Um, I had a year where I did oil painting for a while, but I had to stop. Uh, but after that, I just kept on painting whenever I could or drawing whenever I could, because it's always art has always been a, a big part of my life. Um, I did have a few classes, but um, if you mean like formal training, like actual university work, I have never done that. Um, I, I graduated um, my bachelor in arts degree in literature, so it was not um, a career path I considered until maybe until recently. Um, I first saw my first web two in. Years ago by Michelle Phan, she made a comic with another artist. And I'm used to seeing comics um, made like cages, typical um, like DC or Marvel comics. So it was the first time when I saw it, it can fit more to a phone where you scroll up instead of just flipping the page. So that was the first time I saw Webtoon. I was interested in the, the storyline because I know that with Wings, they had an entire storyline dedicated it was, it's so it's so creative visually and yeah sorry I can go on and on about it like a, like an academic paper <laughs> well from my observation um, Korea is a very pop centric um, social circle so I feel like what people react to in pop culture is um, a reflection of what could po they could possibly love in terms of comics um, I I've been researching a bit on some the webtoons here. Uh, I saw um, a webtoon called True Beauty, and I know that um, Korea is very well known for their beauty um, products and their beauty um, just overall just the attention to beauty and cosmetics. So I felt I saw that with that premise of a girl spoilers uh, of a girl um, make giving herself an entire makeover that dramatically transforms her. Uh, I can see how it reflects in the mindset of uh, the Koreans. I do like that um, in terms of the curriculum, they cater to what the student needs. Because I, uh, how do I explain? I thought it was gonna be like, we're gonna do this stage and then when everyone's done, we move on to the next. The nice thing is, um, you can develop your skills at your own pace. There's no pressure to um, finish or complete a certain chapter or task. If you feel like you're struggling with one part, they're not going to force you to move on to the next unless you think you're ready. Um, well, different things. Um, usually, it's, I get the most help when I ask them. Uh, I did ask days ago one of the teachers how to do colors for um, comics and I did I get I got a lot of good insight on how to do that I'm trying to do a webtoon right now it's an idea I had for a long time it's still in the works I don't know if I'm ready to release it because I want to do more research on it but um, I am trying to see how I like to see it in a certain format and experimenting with different styles that could hopefully work for what I want to interpret. <laughs> I'm not a very confident person, so I, I probably am biased to ranking myself low. Mm, 3, 2.5. 3? <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay, I think. Well, I also wanted to mention um, that the language barrier was very hard because while we have English speakers in Anabugs, of course, I feel like if I knew Korean or if we both knew how to speak the same language in general, it would, I could probably get more information, but they try really hard and I try really hard to understand them as well. But yeah, it's just um, they, they, um, to remedy it, 
they try hard to understand me I try and um, they do what they can to really take care of their students in their capacity the class is mostly for for um, the Korean students so uh, mostly the instruction is in Korean and I just try to follow <laughs> as best as I can um, this answer could always change in time but I know that the core of my drive is I want to create things that move that um, I want to create things that move people, that inspire people, that um, give people who feel like they don't belong in a certain sense of society that they can find a sense of belongingness and empathy in hopefully what I can um, make in terms of my art. Uh, definitely, because um, when you're here, you get to understand what the market is about, what the art that they are more inclined to is about. If you're looking to see what your demographic might be, if you do make a webtoon for Korea, it's good to be part of that society, to be part of the country that you are going to possibly give um, your art to so that you know if it's for you or if it's not. And whatever way you choose, at least you will understand um, and make an educated um, choice in terms of what you are going to present. Hi, Ma. Hi, Pa. Um, don't worry, I'm eating well. I'm taking out my trash. I'm cleaning my room. <laughs> Ma, please don't cry when I leave countries anymore, please. You can always FaceTime me <laughs> and I'm gonna see you anyways in like two weeks, so don't worry. Bye. <laughs>